Hi ant lovers! Ever wonder how ants survive winter? In some areas of the world, winter temperatures can drop as low as negative 40 degrees C, and yet ants still manage to survive. How do they do it? Well, you're about to learn how. Welcome to another Ants Canada video. So here's a typical ant colony, gearing up for the winter. The queen stops laying eggs, the worker ants have begun to store food in their crops, and the young stop developing. All entrances of the ant nest have been sealed. Alright, so for weeks now, temperatures have gone down to as low as 10 degrees Celsius. It's the end of fall, and as winter comes, it will bring with it sub-zero temperatures. So let's talk about ants first line of defense against the cold. Now, as a general rule, the deeper in the ground you go, the further from the surface you go, and the more constant the temperature is compared to the surface. You see, air can cool and heat up pretty fast, but soil, water, and rocks don't change temperature as easily as air. And as a result, at just 4 feet below the surface, the temperature remains at a constant plus 10 degrees Celsius. This means that some ants burrow deep into the ground, and this area below 4 feet is a safe zone for ants and other creatures that hibernate in the winter. Pretty cool, right? But that's not all. What about ants that naturally have shallow nests and don't go deeper than 4 feet? Plus those ants that live in decaying wood, up above the ground surface like these carpenter ants. Temperatures reach below freezing in these areas. This brings us to ants' second line of defense against the freezing cold a simple sugar alcohol compound called glycerol. Okay, without getting too chem technical, this magic stuff known as glycerol forms strong hydrogen bonds with water molecules, competing with water-water hydrogen bonds. This completely disrupts the crystal lattice formation of ice. So you see, glycerol acts as an antifreeze. And actually, glycerol, historically, way back in the day, was used as an antifreeze for cars. Ants produce glycerol in their hemolymph, a technical term for ant blood, as temperatures outside get colder. And this keeps ants from freezing during the winter. For three long months, this ant colony you see here was kept at temperatures between negative 5 degrees Celsius and sometimes as low as negative 20 degrees Celsius. And as you're about to see, they're still very much alive and not frozen. This is a time-lapse video of the colony placed at room temperature. The worker ants began to move and emerge from hibernation pretty quickly, but the queen, who is much bigger than the workers, has more fluids and guts inside her, and she therefore takes longer to return to normal. Surprisingly, the queen didn't start moving normally until 12 days after being placed in room temperature. Now, studies have shown that glycerol is only produced within the ants' bodies for these winter hibernation periods and then is completely non-present in the summer months. One report in 2006 by John Chen found that some ants even lined their nests with glycerol. And we don't know why yet, but perhaps it's to keep their nests from freezing too, which might endanger the colony during the winter. This miraculous and amazing process of hibernation and re-emergence in the spring happens year after year. Ants along with other insects and arthropods manage to remain alive during the harsh winter months and now you know how they do it. Now if you're an ant keeper like me and you live in a temperate region, you will want to hibernate your ants starting when you stop seeing ants outside. I like to do it sometime in November. You can bring your ants back to normal temperatures sometime in the spring when you start to see insects outside, usually around February or March. Hibernating them at plus 10 degrees Celsius is all you need. But if you're going to hibernate them at colder temperatures, be sure to make the decrease in temperature gradual over a period of several weeks so they have the time to produce glycerol in their bodies. You can place the colony near a cold windowsill at first, then move them to a colder place. Or what I like to do is I place them in an unheated basement towards the end of fall and allow them to cool down slowly along with the temperatures outside. Or an even safer method is to place the ants in a digital wine cooler at plus 10 degrees Celsius. Some keep their ants in the fridge, but be sure to place the fridge on its warmest setting. It is easier to hibernate ants in a test tube because you don't have to worry about watering them. But if your ants are in a formicarium already, make sure to keep their nest moist. If your ant colony is in a large setup, it may be easier to disconnect all parts and store them in a cold place separately. When in hibernation, check up on the ants every few days or once a week. Hibernation is important for pet ants as it gives the queen a break and some say it prolongs her life. 
Even if you do keep ants warm during the winter, most ants will start to slow down anyway due to their biological clock. So why not give them the chance to hibernate? Oh yeah, and of course, if you're in a tropical region and you're keeping tropical ants, do not hibernate them. You'll kill them. Thanks for watching guys, and if you need pet ant keeping supplies, please visit us and read more information at our website at www.antscanada.com. It's ant love forever. Bye. Hey, thanks guys for watching. If you want to check out more videos on this channel, be sure to check out our latest video on our brand new line of genus tailored hybrid nests. Really cool formicariums for your ants that are specifically geared to house your species of ants, whatever they may be. And also check out our very cool Solenopsis Geminata playlist. It's ant love forever, guys. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe.